Man, I sure do hate cutting down trees. It takes such a long time. If I want to get all the resources from them. But wait, there's a lever over here. I wonder what it does. It didn't seem to do anything. Okay, let's go back to cutting down the tree. Well, that took much less time than I expected. Thanks, random lever. If that was your doing, <laughs> I guess. Oh, hey, more saplings. You could have gotten the leaves, too, so I wouldn't have to wait for them to decay, you know. Eh, whatever. I could grow more, but... I don't have any bone meal, do I? No, I don't. Wait, is that... I just had an idea. There's another wood up there? Oh, sure. And more saplings. You know what? How about I build a tree myself? Oh. Wait, it broke the saplings. Hmm, this could be interesting. This could be very interesting, in fact. Try this. Maybe this will work. Oh, right. I saw a sign somewhere that said not to build with wood. Eh, it probably wasn't anything important. <laughs> Hello! Just put these down in the middle because I can. And then let's try breaking the side, see what happens. That's very interesting. It seems that the cut down trees faster contraption doesn't really care whether or not you're cutting down trees. That has a potential to be really interesting. I'll just fill in this little hole in the ground. Okay, so let's go into the details of how this works. So, I can't think of a good way to do this, actually. Never mind, I've got one. Place this stack of jungle wood with a lever so that the circuit stays active. So, yes, there's only three command blocks down here. There's this one, which is very important. Slash scoreboard, players, set, at E, type equals item, wood, one, if it's a log or a second type of log. So, you might be wondering, why are there two types of logs? Well, if I grab some bone meal, the question will be answered. So, here's an oak tree. It's made out of a lo log type 1. Here's a spruce tree. It's also made out of log type 1. Here's a birch tree. Log type 1, as you'd expect. Jungle tree? Yep, log type 1. 
But the problem occurs with acacia and dark oak saplings. Because acacia trees were added after the original log slot was filled with the four different directionalities of those four wood types. So acacia and dark oak needed the log 2 slot. And if they didn't, which they probably want 1.10, because the way blocks are handled will probably be changed and allow multiple types of more than 16 blocks within a given data value, meaning they'll all be the same data value and I can eliminate this command block entirely. But until then, I'll have to use 3 instead of 2. But then this command block is the kicker. Execute at E, type equals item, score wood minimum equals 1, as in all wood items on the ground, fill the blocks around them with air, and destroy things by destroying. Because if it was replacing, it wouldn't drop any item. So, let me quickly visualize what that looks like. With some glass. So if I were to break a random block of wood in survival, what blocks around it would be broken? Instantly. The answer is these, which works for all tree types. Because, you know what, I'll get in a big oak, I guess, just to demonstrate this. Also, yes, tossing a wood item will start weird shenanigans happening. It ta due to the kind of janky way in which this needed to be programmed, yes, tossing a wo wood item on the ground will break everything around it. Which is even faster than breaking down the tree normally. Anyway, I'll just cut until I get a big oak. Okay, wow, finally. That literally took ages. Like, I have two and a half stacks of wood from all the trees I had to cut down to do that. That was pitiful. Anyway, it should work on all but the weirdly, all the most weirdly shaped big oaks. It'll probably leave behind quite a few leaves, but it'll break all the wood. And while this is probably technically a big oak, it's a, like, bubble oak, so it doesn't actually... Like, it still breaks just fine, but it was a really weirdly shaped, technically big oak. So we've already seen a 2x2 two two jungle tree. It was the first thing I showed. Let's do a 2x2 two two spruce. It works fine and dandy. I don't know what you were expecting. Also, here's a demonstration as to how the block physics work. Boink. All the glass broke as soon as the wood broke. It works on oaks. For obvious reasons. Works on spruces. That was a really short spruce. Wow. Works on birch. It works on jungle. It works on acacia. Surprisingly, because acacia trees are often really weirdly shaped. Boo. It works, even works on dark oak. There's no tree type that this will not work on, to my knowledge. Except all, like, the most weirdly misshapen acacia trees. I just want 15 bone meal <laughs> to save some time and waiting for trees to grow. That's a not weirdly shaped acacia. That's a. The rest of the video is probably just going to be making ram trees and seeing if the game lets them work properly. So, if you don't care for that, you can leave now and I won't be disappointed.
It's really difficult to make dark oak trees, like, worth it, though. In my opinion. Let's make another super spruce. They're fun. <laughs> Just like all the pop noises, too. Oh, there were saplings over there. I mean, I figured, but... Yeah, whatever. Don't stay directly into the sun, kids. 